and welcome back today we have some pork loin going on here this was one big long piece of pork loin I just happened to cut it in half again I'm feeding about 11 people today so I just cut it in half I don't have a pan long enough uh, for this uh, piece of pork loin again I did cut it in half okay um, and it was on sale this week so as you can see I did cut off some of the fat um, this portion was already cut so I didn't have to do anything to this first uh, front part and then the back part it still had most of the um, fat on it so I did trim off some of it but we need all that on there for the nice juices this is what they use when they cut in that uh, boneless uh, pork loin pork chops if you want to do your own this would be the piece of meat that you buy and you cut them yourself how thick or how thin you want them but today we keeping these babies whole so let's get the seasoning I already mixed up my seasoning already um, of course in the description box I will have everything that I have in here you know how you always empty out your seasonings you finish with your your little containers should I suggest that you do keep your little containers keep a couple of them so therefore when you you know you don't have to top each season on it I like to mix mine up and you know put it all over uh, my meat so we're actually gonna you know rub the meat with this and again the, it will be in the description box one of the seasons that I do use in um, my seasoning for today, this is Sazon Total, or you can get Sazon Com Complete, Complete Day, if I'm saying it properly. But this is what I'm using in my season, just in case you know you guys look for it. This is one of the seasons that I'm using, besides the garlic powder um, and the onion uh, flakes and all that good stuff. I'm also using Mojo Marinade by Badia. Um, it's made with like orange juice, grapefruit juice. It has salt, spices, herbs, garlic, onion. It is great uh, for marinating pork with any meat, chicken and beef as well. Um, I get it from my local supermarket, but I found uh, when I went to the Dollar Tree, they also have it at the Dollar Tree. So of course, you know, I picked up about four bottles of this. This marinade, again, is excellent uh, for marinating your pork. Give it a try. Also, I'm using some garlic, of course, you know it. This is about um, three tablespoons of garlic. So, let's get seasoning. First, we're gonna take that marinade, that mojo, and we're going to pour it. Now, I only have three tablespoons here, so I'm not gonna use a lot today. I'm gonna use that little bit for that side. And we're gonna rub the meat. Just rub it all over your meat. Have fun with it. And we're gonna do both sides just like that. Now we're gonna take some of the garlic and we're gonna put half of that garlic and rub it on this side as well. I am gonna let this marinate for about four or five hours because I am cooking it today. Usually I marinate it overnight. But I didn't feel like it, so I am going to cook it today, and I'm just going to marinate it for like four or five hours. You can do it overnight. You can do it longer. You can just go ahead and marinate it like this and throw it in the oven if that's what you choose to do. It's fine. But I want these seasonings to get in a little bit. Now, I'm going to take our seasoning, our seasoning rub, and now we're going to generously season our meat with it. A little pat there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Feed it. Get all that flavor up in there. And we make sure we don't miss any portion of seasoning this. Okay, guys? Again, I like to season generously. It's never salty. I don't add any salt to it. Very rarely do I add salt to my seasoning. That's only because the seasonings that you use more than likely got enough salt in it already. Oh, let's flip this baby around. I want y'all to see the other side of it. So you see, like I said, don't leave any portion of this meat uncovered. And I do have it on some uh, paper towel. I did wash it, um, the pork, in cold water. 
I did um, use some limes. I do rub the lime on there and some salt and some salt water. And I let them chill out for about 10 minutes in that lime salt water. And then I commence to take in the pieces of lime and then I just rub the meat with it. All right, so let's flip this baby to the other side. rid of this paper towel here all right now we got to flip do the same process take the rest of that mojito creo i do believe it's called and i'm gonna rub it on there you can use more if i was doing like the um penne i would put more on there i mean like completely drown it but i'm not doing the um Puerto Rican pulled pork today. I'm just going to cook this the way it is and just slice it up. The rest of that garlic. And again, just follow the same process. And you know what? Because it doesn't look wet enough for me, I'm just going to add a little bit more. So about another tablespoon. Get all that on there. You can also put slices in it and stuff garlic down in there but guess what that's the reason why I'm using this type of garlic because I didn't have enough to do all that so I rather had chopped the garlic up and put it on there instead of stuffing it with garlic and again take your seasoning and again I will have the seasoning listed in the description box of what I threw together I do have a house seasoning, but I don't use the house seasoning on everything. I like to switch it up from time to time, and I'm always mixing up some type of seasoning. So I'll let y'all know what I mixed up this time. So get all that in there. Again, marination is the key, but you don't have to. It's all in what you prefer. It's your kitchen, baby. Do what you want to do. So again, I'm going to let this marinate in the fridge for about four hours. Three and a half hours, I'm going to take it out so I can bring it to room temperature before I cook it in the oven. So, looks like our pork is seasoned. Yeah. So again, let that hang out in the refrigerator for about four hours. And I'll see you back in four hours. Okay, so this is our marinated meat. It's been four hours. I have let it sit out for a half an hour to bring it up to room temperature. Um, and let's go ahead and get this meat prepared for the oven. So for whatever pan that you're going to cook your meat in, we want to make a bet of vegetables. Here I did slice up one um, large onion as well as a yellow pepper and a red pepper. Please use whatever peppers that you have on hand, whatever pepper you like, or skip this process altogether. All right, now that we got our better vegetables down, again, whatever vegetables that you choose to use, let's go ahead and get our meat into the pan. Pan is big enough. Ooh, boy, I just made it. Get it all nice and snug in there, okay? Nice, nice, nice. Final step. I do have two cups of chicken bouillon broth here that I made. I use the uh, Noor chicken bouillon cubes. You know, those Noor cubes are pretty big. It does require for you to have uh, two cups of liquid to dissolve one cube. I did that. I'm gonna drop one cube in two cups of hot boiling water. If it doesn't dissolve all the way, that's fine. It's in this hot liquid here. It's going to dissolve eventually. 
I am going to put a piece of foil over it, uh, get it in a preheated 350 degree oven. I'm gonna cook this thick piece of meat for about two, two and a half hours um, and take it out every half an hour to baste it just to ensure that the meat does stay juicy and tender. It may seem like a long time, but again, this meat is pretty thick. So I want to make sure that this pork gets completely done. So two hours and this is what we come up with. I did pour off some of the liquid after about an hour and a half off camera. I do apologize for not showing that. Um, but it did make, you know, a lot of juice in here. Um, I did baste it every half an hour to ensure the juiciness of this pork loin. And that's what you want to do. Basting is a big key, you know, to help keep your meat uh, moist and not to dry out. So again, after two hours, this is what it is. I did not take the foil off to make it uh, brown like this, to get it brown. Um, it did that with the foil on it. So I am satisfied with how this meat came out. Thanks for tuning in and watching me put this pork loin together. It looks delicious and I know it's going to taste the same. And you know how you're going to know because you're going to try it. Don't forget, thumbs up for the video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, my lovelies. Until next time, enjoy.